at the Florida Aquarium, we got two new male spoonbills from the Dallas Fort Worth Zoo. Both of which came in, we did some exams on, they looked really healthy and, and they look like uh, great additions to, to our group here. Entrance exams are really important for us. They do a couple things. Number one, it gets us good baselines to make sure that you know we have blood work and x-rays to compare back to if something were to come up in the future. Um, but it also lets us screen for any problems that us as on the medical team want to know about ahead of time um, to make sure that they're getting the best care possible. Anesthesia is required, or at least heavy sedation is required to really obtain appropriate x-rays. We want to make sure that they are aligned appropriately so that we can really evaluate things you know, really in appropriate detail. The blood work, the infectious disease swabbing, the physical exams, all of those things are often done without anesthesia. Um, so it really is the x-rays that are the driving force for that. As far as the process, they come in, we do our physical exams first. We give them a little bit of oxygen just to make sure that they um, kind of get preloaded with that and then we'll give them the gas anesthesia at that point. First via mask, then we'll go ahead and put a breathing tube in so that we can control how much of that they're getting and breathe for them if they need to during that time. Then we always have people monitoring anesthesia and making sure they're doing well during that procedure. Right now they're doing great. They are out of quarantine. They've gone through their process and they've since been put out um, in, into the dome and into wetlands and they're getting along with, with the rest of the group. When people come to the Florida Aquarium, I hope they learn what we can do, you know, for ourselves in terms of conservation of both our natural environment and the species that we have around. But I also hope that they get to take a little bit away about different animals and their role in ecosystems and their individual biology, really, and what, what makes a lot of the species that we have here so, so unique and incredible.